Hi, Sasha with the daily message. Here we are. Release your anger in healing ways. Many have deep reservoirs of toxic anger and rage within them. They have been denied countless times over and over again throughout their life, starting with their parents. This has most people reacting to the present with their past pain and they find every reason to be angry. Rage, anger and hatred present themselves in many dysfunctional forms. For some it's constant complaining, physical abuse, outward rage, passive aggressiveness or maybe being a total zombie. Unfortunately releasing in these ways does not actually dissolve the underlying pain it just pacifies it for a while. To release anger in healing ways, firstly make the decision that something must change. Then find your version of a safe, controlled environment on your terms in which to do this work. Now it is time to move into this extreme denial of energy through your body. This can be done in many ways, through notice noticeable stillness of the body or movement of the body. If you are being still, simply feel every ounce of the rage and your hopelessness to know what to do with it. If you wish to move your body, express all your hurt and violence to inorganic objects through wo words and actions directed to the root pain. It can be very useful to have a benevolent witness when you do this. These are just a couple of tools to start moving this to toxicity that you have held your whole life. Soon you will realize that you don't want to hold any resentments and releasing past anger will be a daily ritual. We live in a society where anger is frowned upon. Take the initiative to start releasing this on your terms. So all we're talking about here is in our society most people have tons and tons of coping mechanisms, tons of ways to pacify themselves because releasing the depth of anger just isn't tolerated. No one wants to see anger, No one, everyone wants to pretend it doesn't exist and while denial is happening all the time and denial is fine, denying people, pacifying people, controlling people is fine, but the anger that that causes is very much denied. But it will not be denied forever, it will come out in some way inappropriately, well not even inappropriately, but dysfunctionally, ways that don't move it forward. So letting go of your past anger is quite a powerful practice. Like I said, you can move energy while being in complete stillness, or you can really move your body to try and express it and get it moving and out of you. Either way can be totally effective. There's many ways to remove anger, but those are a couple. So, instead of denying your anger, maybe find the time to allow yourself to start releasing it. Until you do that, you're not really going to be good to anyone. Much love, Sash. Magic hands over and out.